traffic congestion. Mm -hmm. That's what happens when you halt traffic. And this is just one small piece of the construction project that started actually more than two years ago. Kate has Mariah Williams with more on what this means to businesses and residents in the area. Buffalo Gap Road has had construction for more than two years. Congesting traffic to add stoplights, sound barrier walls, and a drainage system impacting businesses and residents nearby. I could definitely see why it would, you know, people would be hesitant to, to face that on a regular basis. Right off the busy road, most residents thought the sound barrier would stop right about here. But as construction continued and the wall grew, one resident said she was not happy with the final product. It was going to be this tall, and it's like 14 feet tall. It's free. Me out, so I can't see the sunsets anymore. Deb Smith says she sees the benefits of some of the changes, but also some harm. I think the lights will help some, but they've really got to pay close attention. They had a lot of break-ins on our street. It's because they couldn't be seen from Buffalo Gap. Well, now they really will not be able to be seen. But residents are not the only ones being affected by this construction. With many barriers blocking streets and entryways, it's affecting the local businesses too. We felt a heavy impact. It's, it's been quite a sting. Owner Sean Alvis said he, along with his neighbors, has seen a decrease in store traffic since the construction. It's hard to blame them, but they don't want to face the traffic that they have to deal with coming here when they have an alternative. Just across the street at Oscar's Mexican restaurant during lunch hour looks like a ghost town due to access difficulty. The construction has killed everybody, everybody here. In the business it goes 60% down. And uh, we try and uh, fight every day we stay open. TxDOT says it does recognize the frustration of residents, but says the end result will be worth the wait. Reporting in Abilene, what coverage you can count on, I'm Mariah Williams, KTAB News. Thank you, Mariah. TxDOT says the project about 70% complete and is expected to be fully done, fingers crossed, weather permitting in October. And I think they did tell Mariah that the weather mm -hmm. is the biggest yeah. biggest factor in getting that completed. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, it and probably it's always is. Your fault, and eh? the uh, congestion is not spring allergies either. Still not my fault. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but 